November 14th, 2023. We're here at the mall. It's a little bit um, rainy. We're at, we're at West Palm and it was really rainy, but now we're at our second place. We start over there and then sometimes we come here. We're at the mall now. Hallelujah. My gosh, bring it here. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be happy. Okay. We're gonna read the word. Watch out. We got the word. They're reading Luke 8. We at, we're gonna be quick because it's like windy and rainy right now. But that's okay. Know these things come because of the word. So, when when you get born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, and you start reading the word, read the word. Don't let anybody see it; we'll get in trouble. <laughs> We're learning something today. We're having a little teaching here. Luke 8. And it came to pass afterward that Jesus went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the, and the 12 disciples were with him. And a certain woman, we have to put on the umbrella because it's raining. Okay. Don't miss out on the word. Okay. And Jesus went into every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the 12 disciples were with him. Because they never left him. Because he is a source. certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils he cast seven devils out of that woman and Joanna the wife of Chusa Herod steward and Susanna and many others ministered unto Jesus with their substance. They gave Jesus everything. They were like, they were so thankful that they were healed. They started following Jesus everywhere. They were giving him, they were, they were working and giving him things and they were making food for him and giving him sandwiches. Yummy. Good job. Okay. And when many people gathered together, wait a minute. This, yep. Yeah. And when many people were gathered together, and there came to him of every city, he spoke by them in a parable. Now this is the lesson today. The sower went out to sow.
A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. And it was trodden down. And the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprung up with it and it choked it out. And others fell on good ground. And it sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that has an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. That's what Jesus says. Let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand now the parable is this the seed is the word of God those by the wayside are they that hear the word then comes the devil and he takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these, they don't have any roots. Which for a while they believe in time of temptation, they fall away. which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard they go forth and they are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and they bring no fruit to perfection but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart Having heard the word, keep it, and they bring forth fruit with patience. No man, when he lights a candle, does he cover it with a vessel, or does he put it under a bed? But he sets it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be made manifest, neither anything hidden that will not be known and come abroad. Take heed, therefore, how you hear. For whosoever has, to him will be given. And whosoever has not, from him will be taken even that which he sees that he has. Then, then Jesus came to his mother and his brethren. And he could not come at him because there are so many people that are all around him trying to come in and get healed and touch him. And it was told of him by certain which said, your mother and your brethren stand without desiring to see you. And Jesus answered and said unto them, my mother, and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and they do it.
Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples. And Jesus said unto them, let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. They pushed off the boat off the shore and they headed across the lake. But as they sailed away, he fell asleep. Do you believe that Jesus fell asleep in the boat? And there came, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they, and the boat was filled with water. And they started getting fearful. They were like, what's going to happen to the boat? It's going to sink. They are getting worried, scared. And they came to Jesus and they woke him up. They said, what are you doing sleeping? Don't you see this boat filled with water? We're about to drown here in this lake. <laughs> and they came to Jesus and they awoke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to perish. <laughs> then Jesus stood up and he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased. There was no more storm, no more wind. Because Jesus said, stop. He rebuked it. Rebuke it. Jesus. So you need to do the storm. Rebuke the storm. In Jesus' name. <laughs> he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And it ceased. And there was a calmness. Nice. And he said unto them, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? You have faith? Put our umbrella. Help. Yep. That's all right. We can still preach. Rain or shine. The word never changes. <laughs> and they being afraid wondered saying one to another what manner of man is this for he commands even the winds and the water and they obey him did you hear that see if you call him the name of Jesus he'll calm your storm he'll deliver you and set you free because he loves you. Don't ever forget it. So. So we're going to go. <laughs> to, uh, well, we're going to.